Hello and welcome back. Welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you for being with us on today's uh, daily devotion. We are so glad that you could be here as we take time to learn about the people of God and so learn some lessons that are there and uh, how we can apply these lessons in our lives as New Testament believers. Today we're going to take some time to look at Nehemiah. Um, we look at uh, Nehemiah in chapter 1 and verse 4. Um, we, we read these words. So it was when I heard these words that I sat down and wept and mourned for many days. I was fasting and praying before the God of heaven. Now what caused this response or these emotions uh, from, from Nehemiah? It is this, he receives the news that the, the walls of Jerusalem are broken down and the gates of the city have been burnt and there is chaos and confusion and the city is in a very vulnerable state uh, from outside, from, from others. And so it moves him so much when he hears these words, he weeps for his city and he mourns for many days and he fasts and prays before the God of heaven. And during this time, something happens to him that he confirms later that God puts something in his heart, that God puts something uh, that he needs to do, that he needs to step into uh, in his heart. So, uh, and he goes on to pray and he's burdened for his city, he's burdened for the people and he go to, goes on to pray. And this is his prayer. He identifies himself with the sin of the land. He says, these are my people, this is the, these are the ways by which they have gone away from your word, gone away from your ways. And he confesses that sin on behalf of, behalf of his people. You know, how many of us would be willing to do that? He says, Lord, I have sinned and my people have sinned. We have walked, um, uh, we have not walked right before you. So he confesses that and then he prays and he says that he fasts and prays. And then he prays for the king. He says, I'm going to go and talk to him. God, I pray for your favor. And then we see that in... Um, in the verses following that Nehemiah is endowed with unusual favor as he goes before the king and the king asks him why is your face sad and he goes on to tell him about what is happening to his people what is happening to the city there is unusual favor he asks for permission he asks for letters of permission to pass through the land of other rulers he asks for letters of permission uh, for granting for material and timber from the forest as he passed through and the Lord uh, and the king grants him that and so he's able to go back and meet the people with all this and he and he and he says in verse 12 uh, as he as he's there in Jerusalem he's now there in Jerusalem he's there with his people and he's going across the land uh, and he goes does that in the night uh, along with a few few men and he say he says here in verse 12, I told no one what my God has put in my heart to do at Jerusalem. So as he was seeking God, there was something, he was getting a divine download from God, what he must do. He was getting his assignment from God. So we see this favor, which is towards the assignment. We see this unusual provision, which is again towards the assignment. And they go ahead and they build the wall, they rebuild the wall of Jerusalem. Now maybe you are moved unusually. You see others, they are not moved by certain problems in the city or certain, certain issues that are happening. But as you take it to the Lord in prayer, the Lord will grant that assignment. He will grant that favor, He will grant that provision and He will also grant that assignment in your heart. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you, Lord. We pray that you will move us today. Lord, even as we read about, oh God, all that is happening in our city and our nation, Lord, we pray that you will, you will move us. You will give us that burden to pray. And Lord, even as we seek you in fasting and prayer, Lord, I pray that there will be that assignment that you will write upon our hearts, God. What we need to do, O oh God, upon our hearts. And we thank you for the favor. We thank you for the provision that, uh, that, uh, that accompanies that assignment. And Lord, we thank you for that. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.